What we thought was a done deal, congressional testimony next week by former special counsel Robert Mueller, may not be. Tonight we're learning there is some wiggle room, at least in the eyes of the nation's top law enforcement official. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge is here to explain. With congressional testimony looming, sources tell Fox News former special counsel Robert Mueller remains a reluctant witness, and a number of options are under consideration. Traveling in South Carolina, Attorney General William Barr seemed to offer an exit ramp. If Bob uh, decides that he doesn't want to be subject to that, then the Department of Justice would certainly back him. Mueller is scheduled to publicly testify next Wednesday before the Democratic-led House Judiciary and Intelligence Committees. His nearly 500-page report found no criminal conspiracy between the Trump campaign and Russia, but did not, quote, exonerate the president on obstruction of justice. Barr frowned on House Democrats for compelling Mueller's testimony. I was disappointed to see him subpoenaed because I don't think that serves any port purpose dragging uh, Bob Mueller up if he, in fact, is going to stick to the report. Uh, it seems to me the only uh, reason for doing that is to create some kind of public spectacle. In May, Mueller gave his only public statement on the Russia report findings, and he did not take reporter questions. The report is my testimony. I would not provide information beyond that which is already public in any appearance before Congress. In a separate development, sources tell Fox News the former British spy Christopher Steele, behind the controversial Trump dossier, was so concerned that he could get, quote, thrown under the bus in a forthcoming inspector general report that he agreed to cooperate. Reuters broke new details this morning that Steele was interviewed in the U.K. in June by three lawyers working for Inspector General Michael E. Horowitz, who is investigating alleged surveillance abuse targeting the Trump campaign. The IG's office is not commenting on the status of their work, Brad. Follow Kevin, thanks. You're welcome.